The Nikon ZFC is definitely a camera which is made for content creators and vloggers and even though a lot of the specs are much the same as the Z50 and the ZFC, it's more designed for vloggers and content creators in the sense that the design and the build is more tailored towards that kind of filming. The Z30 has a very angle screen which is something that you definitely need if you're going to be filming yourself because it just makes it easier to frame up yourself and your shot and I also love the fact that the screen is actually a touch screen so if you want to change any of your settings it's really easy to just do it on the touch screen itself and the other thing about the touch screen is the fact that when you flip it into selfie mode so facing you then it kind of declutters the screen so you can see more of yourself and more of what you need to see the only thing about that is that when you've got an external mic plugged in it doesn't show you the audio levels but I'm wondering if that's something that I could potentially change in the settings, so it's just something that I need to have a look, look around and dig around in the settings to find that, perhaps. The Z30 shoots up to 125 minutes continuously, so if you've got a long segment, something like an interview or just a really long bit that you're filming in the talking head, then it's perfect for that, it's not going to cut out. It shoots 4K 30 and 1080 120, so if you want to shoot slow motion, you only really have that option in HD, but that's fine because if you upscale the footage, it doesn't actually look too bad, um, but at least you've got that option to shoot in slow motion if you need it. The quality of the footage is really good. I especially love the colours. Nikon just seems to do really well with skin tones. My skin just always looks kind of natural. There's no hue, there's no green hue or yellow tint to it, which is really good. There's no log profile in the Z30, but there are some neutral and flat colour profiles that you can use if you don't want to go for the more vibrant looking profile. And there are also some creative profiles as well, so if you want to do something a bit crazy with your footage then you've got some creative colour profiles in there as well. The Z30 doesn't have in-body stabilisation, but when using a lens with VR like the 16 to 50 millimetre that I'm using at the moment, then vibration reduction actually works quite well. It's not the smoothest, but it's definitely enough to get you by if you're walking or talking, much like I am now at the moment. The footage isn't too shaky, but the best thing would obviously be to use the gimbal because you're going to get the smoothest footage you possibly can if you're going to be using the gimbal. With electronic stabilisation as well, you can either have it off, have it on or have it in sport mode and I can't really see a difference between on and sport mode but using either one works pretty well. Much like the Z50 and the ZFC the autofocus is pretty good, it's pretty snappy, it's great actually. The eye detection autofocus works really well and um, in terms of the audio, like I said in videos before, I wouldn't advocate using the onboard microphones, but the audio sounds pretty good from the Nikon Z30 straight from the camera with no uh, microphone attached. So if you did forget your microphone, then it wouldn't be too bad. This is the audio that's coming straight from the Nikon Z30 and I've got wind noise reduction on at the moment because it is quite a windy day today. So. This is what it sounds like and I'm going to switch over to switching wind noise reduction off to see if it actually makes a difference. Okay so this is now the audio with wind noise reduction off and this is what the audio sounds like. Not sure if it's making a difference or what the audio sounds like but I'm literally just talking so that you get a good idea of a good comparison between the two. This audio now is from the Rode Video Mic Go 2 and I've got the furry windshield on it so it should be cutting out a lot of the wind noise and one of the biggest reasons why I really like this microphone is the fact that it's so small and you literally just plug it in there's nothing else to do you don't have to there's no power buttons or any settings or anything like that you just put it on and uh, it's good to go I did take the furry windshield off the video mic go to so that you could hear the difference with 
light gusts of wind and some heavy gusts of wind as well just to see how much the windshield does make a difference to the wind noise. enjoy testing out the Nikon Z30. I think it's really good lightweight small camera if you're looking for a mirrorless solution then I think it's perfect for vloggers if you're traveling anything like that because it is so small and lightweight so I put a link in the description where you can find out more information about it. There's also links in the description to the review that I did on the Z50 and the Nikon ZFC as well so check that out if you're interested in seeing kind of a comparison and how they differ and um, yeah thanks for watching and catch me in the next one. Yeah.